hello welcome to my channel victoria here how have you been um it's good to see you um in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can make um, call it a smoothie <laughs> a hoodie with a scarf um, it's good for the cold season and i'm using the chunky knitting machine for this particular tutorial so you can as well try it with a smaller machine the standard gauge if you have one but it can still work it's just a matter of getting the pattern and then you try it out so for this uh, particular one i'm making an adult size and i'm using the robin chunky yarn the usual one that i've always used so we start off with uh, i pulled out three by one needles uh, that is 45 to 44 or you can as well do 45 45 it depends those are 90 needles at once but a three by one pattern because i need some bit of design in it you can do one by one depends on how you want it but i'm doing um I'm doing a three, a three by one. And I'll be working in tension eight. So just in case you're here for your very first time, you are welcome to a booking it. Thank you for choosing to stop by. Consider subscribing to this channel. Um, I also got membership. In case you want to join the membership and you access the exclusive content that I'll not be sharing with everyone, you can hit the join button just beside the channel name and we shall be experiencing more as great knitters. Okay, it's a bit stuck. I don't know. We are good to go with that. It's three by one. I think that's why it was a bit stuck. Uh, hard to move because of the needles that I selected. But after that, you make sure you hang your comb. And I'm going to knit up to 160 rows straight up. No increases, no what. Because I'm first working on the neck warmer and then do the hoodie part.
I've gone up to 120, but you can do it whichever length you desire to. And after that, I'll just pick up these stitches and feed them into these needles so, so that I'm, I, I'm able to join the, the hem, like join the scarf together. Just the way we do um, joining the hem, it's, it's a matter of picking up this line, the first line of stitches and then joining it into these needles. It's what I'm basically doing here. Uh, pardon me, this color is a bit dark. Well, this is a client's order and I thought, why not share with you this tutorial? So bear with me, bear with me about the color. It's a chocolate brown, sorry, coffee brown, so it's a bit dark, but I know you're able to follow through with that tutorial. Um, so let me know which country you're watching from, how is the weather, which tutorials should we work on. Here in Uganda, it's a bit hot, but... I am um, sometimes it gets really cold so you never know everything needed can work for you at this particular time but let me know which country you are watching from and thank you so much for loving and subscribing to Aboki Knits if you really want to support this channel you can support it through the super chats super thanks uh, you can watch the ads up, uh, you know those ads which come Please don't skip, just consider watching the ad towards the end and it's a way of earning revenue from this channel. Yeah, um, I am so grateful to all your support. And also becoming um, part of the membership joining the membership you are supporting the channel however that you'll be benefiting by getting content that i don't share here for everyone so i encourage us to join it's, it's just a little fee for the membership subscription which is monthly encourage me please <laughs> anyway um after feeding in all the needles i'm just going to knit one row and cast off so this is the next part so I'll just cast off loosely and then after this we are going to sh to work on the hoodie i'm going to show you so go on ahead do your neck uh the tattoo neck part and then when you're done i'm going to show you how we can do the hoodie together okay so let's meet then so here is the cold part that neck uh part that we are going to have to join with hands i left a long tail after the knitting so we shall be joining it with hands now we are going to work on the hoodie part i've so far done one part i'm just going to show. it's just a straight uh rectangle of 100 rows i pulled out uh, 40 needles this is 20 20 this side and i knitted on all of them uh, 100 rows so just as simple as that just pull out your needles depends on the size if you want it bigger you can add on more needles if you want it smaller but this is more of an adult size so it can as well fit a child for their comfort and i'm working in tension 10 so This first part turns to always be hard. I don't know. 
So I'm just going to knit straight up to 100 rows for this one. Let me hang my comb. So I'm going to cast off loosely, then we are going to start the making up of both panels and joining them to the uh, neck warmer to make up the turtle neck snoody. So I invite you to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Kindly share it with your friends, groups. Yes, sorry, I've taken a while without making a video. I've been, um, I've been quite taken up uh, by some other activities. I have school going on, yes, then family, for some time I didn't have a nanny, so I had to stay at home with the children, yeah, but now um, I'm okay, we can get started, and in case you want to learn machine meeting with me, either online or physically just get in touch with me um i'm going to leave my contact in this description where you can send me an email at abokinitsug at gmail.com and i'll be getting back to you so for this i'm not leaving a long tail because the other part already has a very long tail that I'm going to use. See, it's quite long that I also need to divide it. Now, um, we are going to start with the joining. First, I'm going to work up on this. Uh, we all know how I do the joining. I use the blind stitch method. Look at my finger. This It's quite swollen here. Here it's been giving me some bit of pain. When my nanny left, I had to engage in some work. Uh, yes, and it really came out like that. It's a bit painful, however, I'm managing. So 
just have to join it with a blind stitch method i'm going to do this all the way through and then uh, we shall meet after this after joining this i'm also going to join this panel right at the top just one side and then i intend to add a band here at the face the face front so after joining it with with the hands i'm going to add a band of about um i think uh, 15 or 20 rows so like there's a video that i did of uh, an infinity hooded scarf you can see how i did that it's quite the same way i there's an infinity hooded scarf that i did a uh, video so you can check it out it's the same way i'm going to work on this uh the the hoodie part adding that front band so i'm going to do this off camera but what mainly i want to come back and show you is how we are going to add the hoodie to the turtle neck so that you, you can see how to join the both pieces together to make it a snoody turtle neck snoody i hope that is the right name yeah it is it's, let me just do that off camera and then i'll come back and we join the parts together so i've finished joining the would be head part now i'm going to just put this back on the machine uh, to create a band at the front so you can as well do the same or you can leave it the way it is it depends on what you really want to do So I'm just going to put this back on the machine. I do the band and then cast it off, obviously, <laughs> and then I join it onto the mm, turtle band, uh, turtle neck, so that the two pieces are together to join our snoody.
I'm still working in tension 10. Generals are enough, so I'm just going to pick up stitches and join them back onto this to have this little curve, and that is it. So, to make the band, so just go on ahead and do that, and you shall meet when you are putting the two together. So, I'm done joining this hoodie. So, what up next? to do it to join these two together now with the help of my stitch marker i'm going to mark these two back parts together just hold it there and then i'll just using now because we are going to work with the still the blind stitch method i'll just work as i bring it in Oh, this will be folded so I want to show you the picture of how it will look like so I'm going to join this uh, neck warmer with a hoodie by hand all around I'm marking that this is the center such that I work like this and also this will come in like this the head will pass here <laughs> yeah I'm just I just wanted to show you how this is going to be what I'm joining I'm just joining these lower parts together outward these two so the head will pass here and it will come out from here so that is the big part that is remaining to be done. I have this long tail that is going to help me join right from the center outward. So just go on ahead and do that. It's simple. Just mark your piece so that you know where to begin from and just holding it in place as well. And you run around with your yarn needle so i'll start from that point in the middle right here that i marked and i move outward it's it's not matching because the the more needles that we have on the hoodie than on the turtle neck so you may find yourself are uh, you uh, picking up more than most stitches for the hoodie than for the uh, turtle neck but either way you try to see that it balances and they are all fixed in together So go on ahead and do that. I'll show you when I've, I'm finished with this and when I fixed it on the dummy. See you later. So this is how the tattoo neck hoodie has turned out to be. Um, like I told you, I joined this to here. This is where the seam is and I put them all up together. This is the other side. Let me show you how the back is right from the top it doesn't show anything like there is something inside it's just the hoodie which is covering up at the back and this is the band i did at the front to make it look to have this finished look and yeah that is how the tattoo neck hoodie looks like I'm sorry the color is really dark but I hope you 
got what I wanted you to see. It's just um, knitting two pieces, just that tattoo neck separate and these two hooded parts separate, then putting them all up together, joining them with a blind stitch method as I did. So let me know what you think about this video. Leave for me a comment in the comment section below and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and there's also an opportunity to join the membership. Please go on, click the join button and I'll be happy to share with you. I have something coming up for those on the membership. See you next time. Bye-bye.